Well, hey everybody, it's your family neighborhood Iron Man 3406 here, back with another set of video installments on the Caterpillar 60 project. If this is your first time tuning into the channel. My name's Nathan, coming at you from Spy Hill, Saskatchewan here today. So, you guys remember in the last video, uh, the tractor still had a frame, or an engine in the frame, pardon me. Um, while I've been away, Grandpa took the block out of this frame and he brought in the block from the other 60 so that we can put this block eventually in this frame because that's the one that has the good crank and everything in it uh, so he did that while he's gone he is actually working right now to get the clutch out of here so that we can uh, assess everything inside the clutch i'm going to um, get working at trying to pull some pistons out of the jugs out of the other engine so all these guys down here i'm gonna see if i can get a couple out at least so that we know where we uh stand and what is the best stuff to use so we'll uh, get some stuff set up here and try and knock some of those pistons out of those jugs all right we got a hydraulic press here going to uh <laughs> see if we can get these pistons out of here quarter power so enjoy the noise the first one out um, that porta power worked pretty good so I think we'll uh, keep going with the other three and get them all out
Okay, everybody, this is the fourth and final piston I got to press out. Thought I'd give you a look at my crude little pressing setup here. It's nothing uh, nothing you're going to find in the uh, tool store, but it seems to be doing the trick. So, <laughs> um, made this little spacer plate. Sort of fits in here, kind of just perfect. Guides itself, keeps itself in the middle. That little bolt on the bottom there just acts as a as a uh, stopper to keep this from falling so that it stays centered in there. We got the port of power that goes in. Same kind of idea. Just throw in some spacer plates underneath the jack to hold it since I'm doing doing this one man style. Then we've got our big one inch pressing plate that goes on here. little snug and then I'm just reusing the head bolts or head nuts pardon me and washers Just run them in with the impact. Like so. It's already moving. All right, now we'll get the jack and everything taken out. Well, how about that, everybody? There is four pistons pressed out of four jugs. It was a mission and a struggle, and we got a whole ton of cleaning up to do to find out if these are gonna be any good. But, um, get some light here and show you what the bores look like. So, get in there, you can see I'll try and get the light in a different spot. There we go. Um, so that's kind of what the what the uh, cylinders look like. It's a pretty common seam in them all. But we'll. Uh, get things cleaned up and see where where we stand all right everybody I think I'm gonna wrap this segment of the video series up here we got those pistons all pressed out um, 
so this is just a little view of the other engine there we're probably gonna try and uh, keep going on figuring out which set of jugs we want to use um, but yeah that's gonna that's gonna do it for this one we'll catch you on the next one um, thanks for following along on this project here I really appreciate it if you like the series if you like the video give us a good thumbs up subscribe to the channel hit the notifications make sure you're getting alerted when the next segment of the video comes out and uh, don't forget I am Iron Man we'll see you next time